All right, what up, everyone? So today we're going to be going over Marvel Rivals again for tuning your CPU to play this game. 13th and 14th gen CPUs, there seems to be an issue. I do believe it's a game-optimized issue since it's only 13th and 14th gen GPU, uh, CPUs for some reason. So what I'm going to show here is... So if you look over here... We have hardware monitor. Some people don't like it, but I do just because it can show stuff fairly easily for everybody. Um, so it's just strictly P cores, no hyper threading enabled, 5.8 gigahertz for all the cores. So all core 5.8 gigahertz, which is pretty good overclock for the CPU. Um, don't really need to worry about the voltages all depends on each cpu so ram is at 6800 says these are 7200 c36 kits they are these are corsair dominator titaniums and they are 7200 mega transfers per second cl36 but i'm going through a bunch of different ram settings and also core settings for your cpu to show exactly the performance you're going to get um, I've done a GTX 1080 video already. If you want to go see that, it works pretty good. Surprised me and a lot of other people. So, again, 6800 meg transfers per second, CL36, 5.8 gigahertz on all P cores, no hyper threading. Uh, GPUs could be a 3070Ti. So, 3070Ti right here. And we're going to be right around 1.1 volts um, on it. And, yep. Yeah, Temperature should be very good. Uh, I might hit about 60% fan speed. Overclock is very small. Uh, so overclock right now on it is... Very small right here. So the overclock on it right now is 100 on the core, 750 on the memory. It's very small overclock, power limit all the way up, core voltage all the way up. Fan speed again, we'll probably only hit about 60% fan speed. And uh, yeah, so if you just look right there, it's, uh, it's right there. So what we will be doing showing the uh, actual frames. Just gonna use the in-game. You can just look right above, up top there, and you'll see the frames. And these are the current settings. Just low. 100% uh, super resolution, performance mode, and DLS is on. No frame sync or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Very easy settings. Low. Try to get the maximum amount of frame rate. And we'll just go into the Doom match here. Show the actual frames in game. What you're kind of expecting. Uh, 5.8 gigahertz on 1300K is pretty good for generating the frames. 6800 mega transfer per second is pretty quick. CL36 as well. Not tuned at all. It's just XMP settings. It's very, very easy to do for RAM. Uh, 5.8 gigahertz does take a little bit of tuning. Uh, if you would like to see a video of how to overclock 13900K or 13th or 14th gens up to 5.8 gigahertz all core, let me know in the comment section below. So we're looking right around pretty steady 200, I would say. It does bump up to 300, but. So the frames do look fairly decent. Again, I am recording on the system as well, so it does take a little bit away, but. Performance wise, it's just fine. 200 frames seems to be right around where it's going to be at. So, yeah, the frames look really good. Pretty steady 200. I'm quite happy with the performance. Pretty steady 200, 300 right around. So, seems to be good performance. 5.8 gigahertz. Generally, I'm playing this game at 5.6 gigahertz on all core, but 5.8 seems to be pretty good. 
6,800 mega transfer per second seems to be quite well as well. CL36. Um, again, it's just XMP settings, so the frames is quite happy with the frames, to be honest. Push while recording. So, yeah, that's it for that. The uh, frames again, 200 plus steady frames uh, in Doomed uh, Match, which is quite heavy for this game on GPUs and CPUs. 5.8 gigahertz seems to be pretty good. No hyper threading needed whatsoever, so that's also nice. Um, 6800 mega transfers per second, CL36 seems to be pretty good for this game. Overclock, very small overclock for this GPU. It's in the rate close to 2.1 gigahertz on the GPU and 10,000 uh, megahertz on the actual RAM, uh, VRAM. So it's pretty good, to be honest. Um, the game does need a lot more optimization, I find. Uh, for some reason, on stock settings, it makes the game crash. So I find upping the cores up to 5.8 gigahertz on all cores seems to be pretty good at keeping things stable uh, with no hyper threading and things seem to be pretty stable as long as you're cool or can keep up with it i am on a custom water loop 360 mil um, 360 mil custom water loop uh, so it does work very well with a custom mono block as well for the ram i'm going to be testing from 4,800 mega transfers per second, all the way up to 7,600 or 7,800 me mega transfers per second. Uh, right around CL36 for all of them. Um, gonna try that on uh, another video. Uh, it does take a long time to do those videos, so um, hopefully we're we'll coming out with it. Maybe next week. Maybe by the end of the week, we'll see. Uh, another video I will be doing is old cpu and gpu playing this game so about a decade old gpu and cpu uh playing this game see if uh, you can get good frames or not I don't, we're gonna see so yeah i was quite happy with the performance of 3070 ti seemed to be pretty good 5.8 gigahertz on the cpu seems to be working very well as well again if you have issues with the 13th or 14th gen cpu try disabling uh hyper threading and uh or put it into game mode which just puts it to the eight performance cores or six performance cores depending on what cpu you have and just put it just to the strictly the performance cores no hyper threading and hopefully that will solve your issue with crashing in this game i find it works pretty good i found up in the actual core for frequency helps the mitigate some of the crashing most of the crashing so uh hopefully this video was somewhat educational for you guys and uh don't forget to like the video subscribe for more and as always don't forget to get her done